funeral was held today in Oxford, Michigan for 16-year-old Tate Meyer. Meyer was one of four students killed at Oxford High School last week when police say 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly opened fire in the school using a gun prosecutors say was given to him by his parents. Tate played football, was on the honor roll. His team says he was beloved by all and had a bright future. As the community works to heal from the tragic loss of those students following last week's shooting, some parents are now giving thanks to one company for protecting their kids' lives. The company is called Nightlock. It's essentially a barricade that prevents an intruder from breaking in during an emergency situation. Roughly 700 devices have been installed across the Oxford School District. And joining me now for more on this is Nightlock co-founder Joe Taylor. Joe, it's great to have you. Uh, what did it mean to you to, to hear these parents at the school crediting your product with saving lives? Well, it's a little, little overwhelming. Um, you know, we, we can take part of the credit. Um, it was, we were just one piece of the puzzle. Um, they had a lot of other protocols and trainings that helped a lot as well. Um, our devices were activated and um, it's the first uh, that we've heard um, that our products have been put into action in an actual active shooter event. Yeah, so we're looking at this video here. We can kind of get an idea, Joe, of how this works. So the, the lock is kept right next to the door so that anyone can quickly put it on. And what happens, I guess people would ask if they need to get into it from the other side, say whether that's a teacher who's you know trying to get them to safety or, or uh, maybe police trying to get in, yeah. Yes, yeah, we've got a, a special uh, tool um, that we give to the uh, schools and um, they give the first responders access to them and they can get in. Most of, uh, most of the schools um, tell us that um, their policy is when you go into lockdown, mm -hmm. um, don't come out, you know, right. for anything, you know, as in Oxford, um, they're, um, you know, you hear about the, uh, um, the guy on the other side of the door um, trying to trick, possibly right. trick them into opening the door as well. Uh, most of the uh, schools will um, just say, you're in there, stay right. there, and the Fair police case. will first responders will let you out. So you were focused more on the residential market, Joe. When did you see this change and this school application? Because it sounds to me like Oxford was one of the earlier, uh, I guess, users of this, but 700 devices is pretty widespread. Are you getting calls from other districts now, a lot of them? Oh, yes, the phone's ringing off the hook. Um, after the Parkland shooting in Florida, um, that was a really busy year. And uh, it's, uh, I think, you know, a lot of it comes down to uh, budget and uh, um, just the timing. You know, it, it takes um, a lot of work to, you know, get things done, I suppose. And um, I think most schools would like to have um, as much um, protection possibilities sure. as possible, um, you know, from cameras to uh, mass communication systems. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much to get that goes into right. this stuff. Well, it's um, a it's a simple device, and we're glad that it's that it's working. And it sounds like it worked. You're hearing from these parents who are thanking mm -hmm. you for what it did for them in that school. Nightlock co-founder Joe Taylor, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.